Okay guys, week two, Saturday, Shelby. Um, before I get started, I'd like to introduce my coordinate a little bit. Um, this is one of my favorite coordinates. It's probably the one I wear most often, actually. Um, the jumper skirt is Alice and the Pirates Gathered Chiffon jumper skirt, and the blouse is also Alice and the Pirates. I skipped out on the headdress because I'm lazy today. Um, the wrist cuffs were handmade. Uh, custom. I will put the link to her Etsy in this little description box thing. Okay. Okay. So um, this week it seems like we're talking about pretty much anything that is on our mind. So um, we've had like a virtual tea party. Uh, we've talked about Lolita at school, budget Lolita, how to make bows. So um, this week I'm going to talk about something that. Um, Kind of, not necessarily bothers me, but makes me a little sad to hear. Um, Lolita and self-confidence. Uh, <clears throat> online I've seen girls um, and guys talk about how nervous they are to wear Lolita in public because they're afraid of being ridiculed. Um, I've always been someone that wore whatever they wanted and didn't really care what other people thought. So, um, it's kind of strange to me, I guess, to hear people say that they'd rather not wear what they love. Um, I'll just tell you now, guys, I have, I've never had anyone come up to me and ridicule me about wearing Lolita. And I mean, I've, I've gone full out multiple times. People stare. I mean, you're going to get looks. But the only people that have come up to me and talked to me while in Lolita about Lolita have been complimenting me. Um, in fact, I was in San Francisco with my mom um, probably about a month ago, and um, I we were eating dinner at a semi semi nice, not necessarily you know formal dress um, steak restaurant kind of sort of yeah whatever. Anyway, there was this this older lady with her friend sitting at a table kind of across across the room from where we were, by, near the exit. And um, as we were eating, I was I was wearing this, but I also had my headdress and my parasol and my fan and every, I mean, everything. We, um, we noticed that she was staring at me. Like, not, not just like glancing like, oh my God, what is she wearing? She was staring at me all throughout dinner. And I was like, well, that's, that's interesting. You know, I've, I've had people like, glance at me, you know, trying to figure out what I'm wearing, but I've never had someone, like, just stare at me the entire time. But I didn't really think anything about it. I, I'm used to it. Um, so we, we finished our dinner, and we get up to leave, and she, um, as we're walking past her table to leave the restaurant, she reaches out, and she puts puts a hand on my mom's arm to stop, to stop her. So, of course, you know, I'm like, oh my god, is she gonna, like, is she gonna say something mean or what? And she actually, she looked up at my mom. She goes, "You must be very, very proud to have a daughter that dresses so beautifully and so elegantly." And, I, and me and my mom were just kind of, we kind of shocked for a moment because I'd never had anyone, you know, say that. I've heard, I've had people say, "Oh, you, your dress is so pretty. You know, is that what you wear every day?" And she was, she, yeah, she, she was just like beside herself. She's like, I've never seen a young lady dress so pretty on just like on any, she's like, is this for a show? Or are you going somewhere? And I was like, no, this is just, um, me and my mom are spending one last day out in San Francisco before I have to have to move down to Los Angeles. And she was like, oh, it is so beautiful and it's so pretty. And she's like, I wish, I wish young ladies still dressed like this. So really guys, if you have some self-confidence issues, I'd just say, just go for it, you know? And the worst that can happen is someone laughs. <sighs> Big deal. Uh, like I said, um, most people actually compliment Lolita outfits. They, they don't know what it is, but they, they find it very, very pretty, very, very stunning, and they want to know what it is. So go for it. Don't be shy. And if people do laugh, laugh it off. I mean, I've got um, 
Hollywood Boulevard, if you've, if you've never been to Hollywood, uh, you probably don't know, but um, people dress up as movie characters and they stand on the sidewalks and they'll take pictures of tourists and stuff. It's this huge thing. Well, there's a cat girl and a Marilyn Monroe uh, a little bit down the ways. I have to pass them to go to the um, convenience store. And they don't like me. They've decided they don't like me. I don't know why. But uh, I had my parasol with me one day. And um, they saw me passing by and they made fun of me for having a parasol. They're like, why do you have an umbrella, sweetie? It's not raining. And they kind of laughed. And they didn't think I could hear them because I had my earbuds in, but I had it down really low. And uh, I, I didn't really say anything. I just kind of just kind of laughed to myself as I kept walking because, you know, they don't get it. I mean, they're dressed as cat girl and Marilyn Monroe. And they're making fun of me for having a parasol. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> ten minutes later, it was pouring. Guess who was laughing then? Oh, and ignore the... Uh, Thumping. My upstairs neighbor, I'm pretty sure, is a small elephant. Oh, apartments. So anyway, getting back to my point. Um, please, 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 don't be shy to wear Lolita in public. It's really sad. I know so many people in real life that love Lolita fashion and can't afford it, but they don't want to wear it in public. And it's, it's so sad. Anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to make this very long. I ramble. I'm sorry. You probably don't want to watch very long, long, long videos. All right, I'm done. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next Saturday. Bye.